Hey everyone, just to let you know, we're, we're kind of ready for the storm down here. We've had lots of time to prepare for it. Watching the uh, emergency channel here, which is the local channel, they're just 24 hours a day covering the hurricane in the different counties. What did we do to prepare? We didn't board windows. Um, and so generally, with what better yet is that we had all of our trees trimmed and we had some trees taken down previously to reduce the risk of uh, branches coming off and flying through windows. You can see the patio furniture uh, is in the house here now. And as we go out and look at the pool deck, because anything that could fly away or is, is gone. One of our biggest concerns is when we, sorry, just go out here, is that this, this time, because the storm is to the west of us on the west coast, is that the, um, the strongest winds we're going to encounter are actually going to be coming directly at us from the backyard. And uh, previously for uh, Hurricane Matthew, the storm was to the east of us. So we didn't get the winds coming from that direction. So whether the Lanai can withstand, uh, you know, direct unprotected uh, winds, that's a good question. So we're not sure, but anyway. And he said we just brought the, the, the remainder of the plants up here into the corner. Um, the wind can't get beside behind them or beside it there, so they're, they're okay there. Um, could show you uh, Erica's room. <laughs> so there's no lights in there right now. And but uh, just in case something did come through the window and that everything's sort of is bagged up and covered in plastic, and that's. Uh, no worries about that. Uh, the office, which is the second bedroom, not concerned about that one at all because it's 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 uh it's in a very low risk area. This is where we took the tree down outside the window, and uh, it, it's you know the house the other the neighbor's house is right beside blocking it, so super low risk. B was just outside taking pictures of the outside of the house, just for insurance purposes. And you can see the barbecue is here inside. And of course, for safety's sake, the propane tank is in the garage. Um, more patio furniture in the living room. And the living room furniture has been taken away from the window. All right, and it's it's all here and it's all covered. By the way, those are drop cloths and people don't realize you don't have to get those big heavy tarps for covering your furniture just for water because these drop cloths are actually poly on the one side and they're waterproof. You know, they're easy to rip, but... And then, uh, same thing, there's more patio furniture in the <laughs> bedroom here. And uh, a little bit of stuff wrapped in plastic. Uh, even because we were originally concerned it was going to be a Category 5 uh, or 4, and that we would have roof damage uh, and water leaks. So, uh, B went to town here and put a lot of the clothes in the closet in plastic, all the more high value uh, clothes, which was good. All right, and we'll just keep going around here. We'll chase B. She doesn't walk too fast these days. And of course, Mr. Bear and the raccoons and the squirrel are in here as well. <laughs> Not out front anymore. And uh, we'll go to the garage and we'll show you what happened out here. What happened or what changes we made, sorry. Uh, we had a category, well, it's called a category six hurricane garage door installed. Because during Hurricane Matthew, we found that this, this was certainly the weakest point in the whole house. We had, originally we had the car backed up here at a two by four running up and down uh, in the center of the door. And that whole thing was flexing. Uh, the door was flexing the two by four. It was incredible to see how much, but you know, there's a lot of wind area there. So uh, this door is actually rated for down on the beach. So <laughs> uh, we're pretty good. And of course, uh, ready to go here, my uh, 7.5 kilowatt generator. It's all fueled up and uh, my cable's ready there. You know, my connections into the house are here and I can I can just power, power the entire house uh, from that. I have to control my loads. I can't have like, the water heater on at the same time as the air conditioning. And of course, extra fuel. So um, we're as good as long as nothing comes through a window. Uh, we're pretty good, but even if it does come through a window, we've got uh, lots of duct tape and uh, and tarps, and you know we can we can board up 
a window pretty quick and uh, control any uh, the amount of water coming in. Again, the storm's going to come through. The peak of it's going to be between 11 p.m. and about 3 a.m. Um, and so that's going to be kind of, oh, you know, keep us awake. I don't think we'll be sleeping much tonight. But anyway, we're good. Uh, don't worry about us too much, and I'll send you this video.